My name is Joanne Lau. I'm a contemporary abstract artist from Kuching, Sarawak. This is my painting called Reminiscing. Back in September 2012, my husband and I made that once-in-a-lifetime journey to the east coast of the United States and Canada. And it was the fall, or autumn as we call it, and my favorite season, of course. Then I heard that the theme for the Sarawak Pustaka exhibition was the leaf. And I remembered this holiday. As you can see, there's a maple leaf here, which I picked from my friend Mary's garden in Toronto back in 2012. Upon my return, when the leaf was still fresh, I started painting this. And I plastered it on with acrylic paint and added on some autumn colors. Then I left it aside. Why I left it aside was because I became PC with church. Then I fell sick, following which the COVID-19 pandemic set in. Finding myself in lockdown, I started painting again. Painting to me, art to me, is my way of expressing my feelings and my thoughts on canvas as depicted by the colors and the strokes used. It exercises my hands and refreshes my mind and it is so therapeutic. Now I paint every day using both hands complementing each other. This painting has brought back a lot of fond childhood memories with Mary. All the cycling, all the chendo, the ice shaving dessert, and the gamboa, the fuchao noodle. Mary and I have sat together in class throughout high school. I still recall vividly that day when I arrived at her house, how she had hugged me and wouldn't let go because I was the first summer kampong friend, same hometown friend, to have visited her in Toronto. Reminiscence is strongly symbolized in this autumn. When I picked the maple leaf from her garden, the blue pinky sky overlooking the golden landscape was a feast for the eyes and it was the most beautiful and memorable holiday to me. It has been a joy coming back to complete this painting nine years later. I painted by first layering on all the autumn colors and scraping it off with a wooden spatula. Then I highlighted the maple leaf, the curls and the twirls, which are symbolic to me of the joy and happiness of that holiday. Finally, I thought of the stained glass and I decided to turn the top part into a stained glass sky glimmering over the golden landscape. What a reminiscence.